My ATL has been developed for filling up the details by the schools and submitting their monthly reports. It is mandatory for all schools to fill the details on the dashboard as it gives AIM an opportunity to recognize their active participation and achievements and determine the suitability for the next tranche of grant disbursement. To access My ATL Dashboard, log on to the AIM website wherein you will find the ATL that is Atal Tinkering Labs drop down menu from which you can select My ATL Dashboard. Upon arriving to the home page of your My ATL Dashboard, the first time users can use their ATL application ID or unique ID as username and password. Once you have signed in, go to the School Details tab to start filling out the details. It is divided into 5 sections. Choose the first section that is School General Information. The questions in the first section are related to the general details of the school and the ATL such as board of affiliation, education grade offered in school, total student enrollment, etc. and contact information of the school. Please do note that the date of inauguration of the school must be filled out carefully. Also note, you can save the details at any point. However, you need to fill the complete information to proceed to the next section. The second section includes information related to the ATL Advisory Committee, which is the school principal's basic information and contact details, the ATL in charge's basic information and contact details, etc. However, please do note that all questions in this section are mandatory. The third section includes questions related to the third party partnership of ATL. The next section includes the details of the mentors associated with the school. Mentor is an individual who engages with the school continuously by organizing guest lectures, hands-on sessions, etc. Please mention the details of up to five mentors. The last section requires you to put in details about the ATL student ambassador who is a student who acts as the voice of the students and contributes in making decisions. At any point, if you wish to change your contact information, you can do so by tapping on change ATL contact information and changing the email address or the new phone and pressing submit. After logging in to your ATL dashboard, all you have to do is tap on submit report. The user can select the year and the month for submitting the monthly report from the available drop down menu. It is mandatory for every school to fill the monthly report and submit it by 20th of every month. The monthly report section is divided into three subsections, monthly activity, innovation projects and monthly grant management. As for the first section, the questions are related to the monthly activities and events conducted in the ATL in that particular month, such as workshops conducted, mentoring sessions conducted, etc. Start with specifying the number of students from various categories using the ATL. The categories include school students, other school students, community students, etc. The second section includes questions related to the various innovation projects initiated, running or completed in the current month. Please don't forget to mention the number of patents or copyrights filed in the current month. Kindly ensure that all the values or the numbers entered in each field are for that particular month. This section constitutes of questions related to the financial expenses of the ATL under various headers. The grant and aid fund utilization guidelines are available on the AIM website. 
Any amount over and above the maximum prescribed amount under each header shall be utilized from the school funds or contribution from other institutions and industry. Schools have to cl clearly specify the same by selecting from the given drop-down menus. A school must submit the ATL monthly report from the month subsequent to the month in which the first tranche of ATL grant was received. After submitting your monthly report, you can view the performance of your school by clicking on the dashboard.